Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's episode we will be looking at how to take care of your peace lilies or otherwise called the spathophyllum. So the peace lily is a native of South and Central America and also is found in the jungles of Southeast Asia. It is a very popular and widely grown indoor plant which is also known for its air purifying properties. As per NASA's research, it is known to absorb pollutants like benzene and formaldehyde. This is not a true lily, it is more related to the anthurium and its associated family. So the peace lily is a perennial plant that gives out blooms during the spring season and generally remains dormant during the winter. There are some variegated leaf varieties of peace lilies that are very uncommon and sought after by garden enthusiasts. Now let us look at the most important feature of the peace lily, that is its flowers. So if you think that this white coloured thing is the flower, you are definitely mistaken. The flower is this cylindrical pod-like structure called spadix that contains tiny nondescript flowers that are very unattractive to their pollinators. The white spathe is the one that gives this plant its beauty. This is a modified leaf that will start off white and turn to green or yellow as it ages. The flowers can last up to a month. This modification is because that these white spathes actually attract nocturnal pollinators to pollinate their flowers that are not very attractive to the insects. And I mostly presume that the name peace is because of the white color of the spathe that symbolizes peace. So now let us talk about the care conditions this plant likes. So if you are growing this indoors then an east exposure is the most ideal where it will neither get too much or too less sunlight. Avoid north or southwest when planting it indoors. If you keep this outdoors you can keep this facing the north or the east and must ensure that you protect it from direct sunlight. Water requirements are a challenge. This neither likes too much water nor will it like less water. So water the plant only if the top layer of the soil dries. This plant loves humidity hence misting its leaves or keeping it on a tray of pebbles filled with water could help. While misting do not use tap water use mineral water if you can or you can also use rain water. This loves organically rich soil, so add a lot of vermi compost to increase flowering. Soil must be well draining and at the same time must be organically rich. So I would suggest using 30% sand, 60% compost and 10% soil or coco peat. You can occasionally prune this plant once it finishes blooming. Remember, over pruning like what I have done to this plant could cause stunted growth. Nonetheless, I still love the way this looks. I have not encountered too many pests on this. Occasionally, you would get mealy bugs or aphids. Use neem oil pesticide and it will be fine. The probability of it getting mealy bugs indoors is much more than in the outdoors. So this is also very water sensitive which means that its leaves actually droop down when there is less water. So that is a good sign for you to water the plant immediately. So the common complaints I get about this plant pertains actually to its leaves and its discoloration. So today I will tell you the different discolorations that affect their leaves and also their causes. Pale yellow leaves indicate too much sunlight. Scorched or burnt leaves indicate direct sunlight. If the edges or the tips of the leaves turn brown or yellow, it could be because of overwatering or underwatering as a result of stress. The accumulation of minerals in indoor gardening especially could be the primary reason. So for this, you can take the plant out and flush the soil with rainwater or mineral water or distilled water if you can. If you don't have these, see to it that you take this out, flush it with tap water at least 10 times until the white powdery substance in the soil goes away. This is very typical of indoor peace lilies due to lack of evaporation and air circulation. 
A healthy peace lily must have shiny dark green leaves. Propagation of this plant is widely done with the help of divisions and I will be covering the propagation of this plant in another episode. I must add here that I was not very successful in propagating this plant with the help of seeds. However, if any one of you who followed my video was successful growing this from seeds, then please let me know. So that is it folks. So let me end this episode by wishing you all a lot of peace, love and more peace lily blooms every year. Thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore. If you like this video, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links will be given below. Until we meet again, goodbye.